We had our Christmas dinner tonight and I am sharing two really easy but full of flavor recipes with y'all. My name is Vanessa and today I am sharing with you guys two recipes that I was supposed to make for Christmas Day for dinner. However, my family came down or my kids came down with a stomach bug so we had to cancel it but I still had all the ingredients so we just made it a couple days later. So I have filmed a crock pot ham recipe and a skillet corn recipe for you guys and I wanted to share them regardless because they are very, very easy to make, but the, they are like super flavorful, really, really good. And I just wanted to share them. I figured you guys could use them for a New Year's dinner. If you guys do, if you have family over or do a big dinner for New Year's day, I wanted you guys to have it to easy recipes for that day. So we are going to get into the crock pot ham first. And my husband actually helped me this with this one because while he got it up, I was out doing a little bit of shopping. So he started the ham and then I came home and finished it and made the corn. So let's get right into these two super easy recipes. Okay, so I purchased a already sliced ham. It's already been cooked. It just needs to be heated up, so super easy. I'm gonna use three cups of brown sugar and I'm gonna put about half of it. Well, actually my husband is putting uh, maybe about half of it, just enough to cover the bottom of your crock pot. So he's spreading it out. Then we're gonna place the ham in. I'm also using a 20 ounce can of pineapple tidbits with the juice. So you're gonna put your ham on top of the brown sugar in your crock pot. You're gonna pour the pineapple, the whole can of pineapple on top and then you're going to add the rest of the brown sugar. You're gonna cover your crock pot and cook it on low for four to six hours, and that is it. It turns out super yummy and full of flavor. It was the night before Christmas, I was closing down for business in my little prison shop. Okay, for the second recipe for the corn, I'm using a 28 ounce bag of corn. I'm going to use about three quarter cup of grated Parmesan cheese, also three tablespoons of butter, three tablespoons of cream cheese, about a tablespoon of garlic powder, and then salt and pepper to taste. So first I am melting the butter in the skillet. Then I'm going to add my corn. I'm gonna stir it and heat it for about five minutes. Then we're going to add the cream cheese, stir that until the cream cheese is fully melted into the corn. Then throw in the rest of our ingredients. So the Parmesan cheese, the garlic powder, season it with a little salt and pepper, and just make sure it is cooked and all the corn is nice and warm, and that's it. So here are the two recipes that I shared today on a plate. We had a few other things with our dinner tonight, but these are the two recipes that I wanted to share with you guys. All right, that is it. I told you guys, very easy, but I promise the flavor is so good. You guys definitely need to try them. Uh, I'm actually going to cut up the rest of the ham. I have it sitting right here and save it for sandwiches. I love having ham sandwiches. I might even put some of the corn on the sandwich maybe, I don't know. Let me know what you guys do with leftover ham. I think I might, I have quite a bit uh, because my younger kids don't eat a whole lot. My oldest daughter doesn't eat meat at all, so it was really just my husband and I eating it and then a little bit for the kids. They like munch on it. So let me know what you guys do with leftover ham because maybe I'll try to recreate something else with it or put it in the freezer or something like that so it doesn't go to waste. Give this video a big thumbs up if you like super easy recipes that turn out delicious. Subscribe if you are new and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. In my heart